Hi, Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. Do we own our thoughts? I think there's a couple different ways that people look at this. I've heard all sorts of different answers, and I kind of want to discuss this a little bit. I want to get us a little focused on this whole concept of our thoughts, right? Because many of us, the chatter in our mind, as I call it, mind chatter, happens frequently and is probably one of the most destructive and self-sabotaging things we do when trying to manifest. Certainly one of the things that's not helping us, not helping us get to that, that end line, that end result that we're so after. So a lot of us are, you know, how do we control this? How do we stop it? How do I resist negative thoughts coming in? All those kinds of uh, thoughts as well flood our brains, and thusly, we are constantly perplexed on how we need to move forward. Now, one of the key questions that I think first we need to start with, right, kind of level the playing field a little bit for ourselves is, do thoughts happen to us or do we initiate the thought? Now, I'd say there's a few schools of thought on this, no pun intended, but I think really the safe answer is both. Things pop into our head, no question about it, and we also think thoughts by choice, right? Um, Great example. Because a lot of people, especially those of you who say, no, I don't have control of my thoughts. They happen to me. All right. Okay. I got you. So let's just hypothetically say a thought happens because I don't disagree with you. I agree with you that thoughts happen. Uh, I also see that as perception. Sometimes perception will come through that same way. So again, there's, there is a mechanism there that is very powerful, profound, and beautiful. The way things will kind of just happen to you. You will receive information sometimes, and sometimes you will draw information towards you. So... Yes, thoughts will happen. So, great example, crazy thought happens to me, crazy thought happens to me. Oh no, oh my God, I'm having a crazy thought. I'm going to keep thinking about this crazy thought because I don't want to think about this crazy thought, but this crazy thought keeps happening. Ah. How I know that we also own our thoughts, and here's a quick way to prove it. Think of a cupcake, beautiful cupcake, got the little paper wrapping around the sides, right? You can peel it off, maybe it's got some frosting on it, right? Peel it off, take a bite of that delicious cupcake, all right? Maybe it's a a yellow cake with little bits of strawberry mixed in with it or something fun like that. I don't know. It just sounded good to me at at the moment. But right when I did that, you all thought about a cupcake. You thought about a cupcake. You controlled your thoughts and thought of a cupcake. Now, granted, I helped lead that thought. But needless to say, that's all it took was the implanting of another thought or another direction by me or you or whoever. So, thoughts are yours to own. They're yours. If they happen to you, fine. That's great. Meditation, great example. Thoughts come, thoughts go. Thoughts come, thoughts go. You don't hang on to any of them. I've talked about this a lot in meditation. Some of you may disagree, but a kind of general meditation, not one that you're trying to create something from the meditation, like love meditations and all these things. No, I'm talking just a strict, get your energy straight, squared away, get ready for the day, kind of balance yourself out sort of meditation. And in those cases, you sit quietly, focus on your breath, and you let things come, you let things go. You don't hold on to anything. So again, thoughts will come, thoughts will go. There's a lot of stuff going on inside our brains, no question about it. But it is owning those thoughts. When they come, when they go, that's fine. You own it, it's still there. It's no big deal. It's not a problem that you're having other thoughts. It's not. The problem arises for most of us is when we hold on to one of those thoughts and then either get mad about it or we focus and fixate on it or we give it more power and start thinking it even further. Good example. We're maybe nervous, right? We're in a relationship with someone or maybe we care about someone, our SP. We're trying to manifest our SP, all right? Maybe we saw, because we're not supposed to, but we did it anyway. We went on Facebook or Instagram or whatever and saw that they had posted a picture with a friend and maybe... Maybe he's hanging with some female, right? So instantly the thought pops into our heads. Oh my God, I wonder if they're cheating on me. All right, well, that's just the thought that popped into your head, okay? It's when we say, huh, I really wonder if they are cheating on me. He is in this picture with this person. I don't even know who she is. I bet you she's really interested. Let me see if I can find out who she is. Let me start stalking her page and see if I can figure out if they're hanging out together. Let me, you're taking this way, way further. You not only haven't owned your thoughts, you're being led by this thought, and now you're controlling the direction 
of your thinking and you're focusing on something negative. You're focusing on an outcome that you don't want. That's what I mean by negative. You're focusing on the fact that he is cheating on you or he is dating someone else. That's your focus. Focus-based universe creates more of that. The way you get around that, how you stop that, how you change that is you change your thoughts to something else. Like I demonstrated with the cupcake. That weird, crazy thought pops into your head. That's okay. Crazy thought popped into my head. I did a show not long ago about swimming sideways against the shore, right? When you've got a riptide. That's fine. You're going to have those moments. Don't get mad. Getting mad just makes it worse. It's not a big deal. It's okay to have these thoughts. It's what you do with them once you have them. Own it. Own the thought. That's fine. It happened. It was negative. All right, whatever. Here's what I'm going to think about instead. Now, maybe that thought was contrast. Maybe that's a fear. Maybe there's something that's bubbling up inside of you. It could be any number of those things. So, of course, I always say, look for repeating patterns. When you've got repeating patterns, oftentimes it indicates something else at work, a wound under the surface maybe that keeps popping these festering blisters to the surface, if you will. But it's through the process of controlling our thoughts and owning the power of our thoughts and owning the direction of our thoughts that we finally can do something about it. So many of us try to play the victim card. So many of us try to blame someone outside of ourselves. So many of us try to put the blame on somebody else. It's your power, your responsibility, your ability to control this situation. So again, when it happens, what do we do? Ah, one of the easiest ways for me, in all honest, is to have a little bucket list or a to-go list of affirmations. If there's a specific thought that you're noticing happening, or if there's a specific fear that pops up from time to time, find some affirmations around that. If you're scared of someone cheating on you, my specific person loves me, my specific person thinks of me constantly, my specific person enjoys who I am and wants to be with me. Again, whatever your issue is, there's an example of some affirmations that you can quickly say every time you catch yourself having that thought of, of he's cheating on me. Okay, that's fine. Don't attach to it. Focus, reaffirm what you're trying to do. Think about them. Spend, spend, maybe have that moment where we're going to be together. I know this is happening. It's okay. Just having a little fear thing pop up. No big deal. Life's cool. Life's groovy. Pulling those affirmations out and, and using them in these moments is going to help push you down that path. It's going to help get you uh, a go-to for sure every time you have one of these moments of negativity. And it's going to help really inspire you to start to focus your thoughts in the direction you'd like to go. Thoughts don't just happen to us. Thoughts are our, ours to own, create, manage, and move in any direction we'd like. If something's caused that, caused that crazy thought to pop into your head, fine. Then you take ownership, acknowledge, accept, and think of something else. The thoughts are yours. A lot of us forget this. A lot of us think we're victim to our thoughts, and we're not. We have control over that. Hopefully this makes a big difference. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Click the little picture of my face at the bottom. Get the little bell icon with the little blings next to it. You'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Thank you guys, or namaste, as they say in the, uh, the whole uh, world out there. Of <laughs> why am I, why, I want to call it Yoda, and it's not. <laughs> but anyways, that, that practice of breathing and stretching, and I can't for the life of me remember the name of that wonderful practice that so many people do. It's awesome. Hopefully you guys have a great one. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, own our thoughts. We can go a long ways with it. Thank you.